Good afternoon, Privyet. Listen, on my constant quest to discover some of my favorite international cuisines while I'm stuck here in San Diego from traveling internationally, today I'm gonna to take you guys over to a spot that's serving up traditional Russian, Georgian, and Eastern European cuisine. Now, before we get started, let me remind you, there's no place for politics in the kitchen. And as my guy Dimitri says, who you'll meet in a minute, Political issues come and go, but good food is forever. So with that in mind, we'll take you in and I'll show you what I truly believe to be one of the most underrated cuisines in the entire world. Let's go. Oh, this is a tricky one. Yeah, how are you? Good. Dimitri, right? Yes, welcome to this miracle place. This is Russian Georgian beautiful. restaurant Pomidar. Oh my gosh. Well, what do you got for me today? I got the Russian and Georgian mix of uh, cuisine here for you. <laughs> Can I check it out? Yes, please. Welcome. <laughs> Let's go. All right, first step before we dive into this feast, what uh, I assume to be a feast, right? Dimitri and I. A feast, yes. Dimitri and I have been talking, obviously, before this little introduction. But well, we're gonna go into the kitchen and check out how they prepare everything for the feast that we're about to have. Let's get in the kitchen. This way? Yes, please. Proceed. Wow. Put it in. All right, just tell me what's going on. Welcome to our kitchen. This is uh, going to be beef stroganoff. I'm slicing the mushrooms up and I got the tenderest cut of beef for the beef stroganoff. So this is going to be the onions. I'm frying the onions first for stroganoff. Then. Cream, we got the sour cream. We got a little bit of the mustard. It's a winter time dish. That's what Russian food is all about, the cold. It's designed to make you warm. All right, we got first test of the stroganoff here. We got mustard, sour cream, white wine, and Worcestershire sauce, salt, and pepper. <laughs> I could just stay in the kitchen all day. What is the stroganoff it? is usually served with the pan fried potatoes in Russia. And in the United States, it's served with pasta with the noodles. It was created in Russia by a French chef. So beef stroganoff was originally created during Tsar time by a French chef in Russia. How did a French chef get to Russia? They were imported uh, by rich Russians <laughs> just to work for them. <laughs> really? Yeah. But beef stroganoff was the result and paid off, right? True. Uh, it's gonna be the borscht. We got the stock uh, overnight. We boiled the bones overnight. Uh huh. And now we're gonna add the meat first. This is for the borscht? This is for the borscht. This is gonna be the best borscht you're gonna eat your spoon. Ooh! I swear to God. Beets, carrots, celery, onion, bell pepper. Uh, the biggest yeah. fighting is what? Between the borscht? About, about the beans. Beans. To add or not to add beans in the borscht. Okay. And most likely borscht is Ukrainian origin. Okay. But the beet soup is very very important to all Slavic countries. Okay. Cabbage and potato. Cabbage and potato going in. Vinegar. Looks like pepper. And herbs, garlic and beets. Herbs, garlic and more beets. <laughs> That's That's all I mean. Almost. <laughs> Just 12 pounds of beef. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh. And the name? Kennels. Nigziani rolls. Nigziani rolls. Nigziani. Okay, step one. Walnuts. Walnuts. Two. Fried onions. Onions. Kumele suneli. Write that down. Uh, this is the fall saffron. This is coriander, ground coriander. Coriander, okay. Garlic. 
is going to be the pickling juice. What? Do you want to put Vanadian salt? It's a it's a salt from Georgia with uh, dried garlic. White wine. Uh, I don't even want to do it. Let's again. Some water to mix it together. Okay. Okay. Just keep all the good stuff in here. Cilantro. Okay. And this walnut sauce they use for uh, to stuff all the vegetables. They okay. use for spinach, for cabbage, for beets, for carrots. Whoa. For uh, eggplant, uh, the most known, uh -huh. the, the rolls, but also I got the bell peppers and you can use it on a fried fish and a grilled meat. So Georgians, they're crazy about pomegranates, walnuts, they use them everywhere. Make sushi. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Georgian sushi roll? Yeah. Nigzviani yeah. roll, which just means walnut. Walnut tea. Walnut tea? Walnut tea. Like walnut tea, like you drink tea or walnut? No, walnut tea, love wine. Walnut tea. Oh, it's like walnut tea. Yeah. Walnut tea. Whew. Nixviani. <laughs> Whoa. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So stuffed inside this bell pepper is the paste that he just made. Oh, my God. I'm going to roll the eggplant, too, right now. We just roll everything in Nixviani. Yeah. yeah. What is it? Guam roll. Oh. White wine. Georgian white wine, I'm sorry. There's not a lot of cuisine using tarragon for cooking. It's a spice garlic. green color. Since I was a kid, you know, we had this one and it's this one. Look at all of this. Sip so Drink it. You know, it's like the birria tacos when you were doing the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna, <laughs> really? Yeah, it's called in Spanish, Levanta Muertos. <laughs> <laughs> the rises of the dead, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. No water in it. No, no water. No water. And it smells... I wish you guys could smell this. It smells absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what is that? It almost a lemon, a sweetness to it. Plum roll. The plum roll. It's a sweetness to it. It tastes like the best ramen broth you've ever had. It, it does. There's a ramen umami to it from the lamb, and the lamb gives it such an earthy flavor. And then you mix in the garlic and all of these fresh herbs. A little piece of what do we call it, dried plum adds this sweetness to it that is so unlike anything that I've ever had. This is the most ridiculous thing ever. This is, yeah, this is like birria taco level of delicious. We got pork and we got beef? Yes. For the dumplings. This is the jalapeno peppers. Ooh, and this is the onions. Beautiful. So it goes all the mix. Nice water? Nice water. Black pepper. Of course, the salt, coriander. But when it starts falling, okay. just before that, you should stop adding water. Mm. Yes, we are in Biryatia, right next to the Mongol border. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Perfect nipple. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful nipple there. <laughs> okay, so the water has to be swirling. Okay. Yeah. Very important part. Okay. And this guy. And then it has to stay there for like five, seven minutes. Ooh, look at those beauties. And you need a lot of uh, freshly ground black pepper on top of that. Okay, show me the ways of how to do it. So, the proper way of having this amazing dish. First, the name. Khinkali. 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 
Hingali. Hingali. Georgian Hingali. Georgian Hingali. So you grab it right there. So I had, the when I was in Russia in Buratia, I had boozies, and this reminds me of boozies. Are there any similarity? Idea, I guess, is the same because like different nations and people have their own kind of dumplings. Yeah, yeah. But the way of preparing, I'm, I think it's different. All right, so I grab it like this. Flip it. I'm you so grab nervous. It, you flip it over. Put down the, the plate. You okay. don't the plate. You my mask you make out a, away. You're gonna make a tiny bite. Okay. So there's like lots of juice. Okay. You don't Angle. Want to, you don't want to juice to escape. So yeah. Okay. So tiny bite. Now you blow in the air. So I'm gonna cool it down a little bit. Now the juice part. And then nice a bite. Then you finish it. Oh baby. And then yeah you do. Never mind. Oh no no no. It's okay. It's okay. It's first his first time. It's, it's my bad. Actually, I apologize. I forgot to tell him that like you're not supposed to. I mean, I mean, if you like the carbs, like then yeah, but you know, it's okay to, to leave it aside. So I'll leave you guys. So <laughs> it's delicious. Since it's lots of dough, yeah, like, we, we don't need it. You do that right now. Yeah. You like someone told me that. Like, that. It's my bad. Like I didn't tell you in advance. Sorry. Delicious dough. But yeah, but like in the restaurant, you know, but the, when you the order the places where they serve Hingali, yeah. the waiter comes after and he counts how many dumplings you had, counts the nipples, and then he charge you accordingly. Ah. So originally they count the nipples. Yeah, just they, they, so I won't have to pay anything. <laughs> 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 this is great. If you eat the nipple, here's a life lesson for you kids. If you eat the nipple, no one will charge you any money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have done all of the work in the kitchen and now it is time to dine. We have some delicious Georgian wine right now and it would be a crime in Georgia if you just ate alone. So I brought some friends along with me. That's true, right? You can't eat by yourself in Georgia. This is gonna be family style, a bunch of dishes that are coming. First, let's introduce the team. This is Barrett. <laughs> you, might remember, you might remember her from the Filipino Lechon video. I just come for the food. This is Adam and Stacy. Hi! And Irakli, who's gonna be our Tamada. Wonderful. Who's basically the CEO of the dinner, right? Wonderful. Here we go. Cheers, guys. Or Kaumar Jos! Kaumar Jos! Kaumar Jos! Little backstory here, what I've learned is the Separavi grape. So Georgia is the birthplace of wine. There's over 500 different types of grape from Georgia, and the Separavi was the most, let's say, durable during the Soviet period. The Soviets came in and said, we don't care about all the 500 you have, Georgia. We want the most durable and the ones that will work best for mass production, correct? And this is it. Let's eat some food. I've heard of this soup, never had it. This is one of my favorite oh, dishes. Look at that color. Borscht we had almost every day traveling across Russia. You can see all this beautiful fresh dill on top and you see the meat in there, which has been simmering for hours. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm. What do you think? So good. That is so good. Beets are the most underrated I vegetable on earth. This is the cured pork uh, fat, a little smoked on a rye Russian bread. It goes along with the borscht the best. This is called sala. Sala. Sala, and it is thinly sliced pork fat. No. <laughs> To me, honestly, this no is means yes. <laughs> no means yes. To me, this is better than any prosciutto I've ever had because prosciutto, you know, it gets a little stringy with the meat. This is just straight, beautiful, melt in your mouth pork fat. Mmm. Wow. Tastes like butter. Yeah, butter. it is like butter. Can you do this? Yes. Mmm. <laughs> That's a great move. Mm -hmm. Wow.
shot up. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this is a Acharuli Hachapu. Ready. The way to have this is to break the bread with the hands only. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Just like that. Whoa. I found that in my hand. Take the best fondue you've ever had, multiply that by this incredible crust. <laughs> it's better than fondue. It's better than fondue. Uh -huh. No offense, French, but they got you on this one. It's the bread. It's the bread. It's Boy. like almost like homemade mac and cheese Ooh. Yes. souffle. Oh, there you go. Because you get that really like richness of the cheese. Yeah, yeah. Good call. That's good. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And here we have my favorite before all Georgian Hingali. I'll have one myself because I love this thing. <laughs> oh my god, that's that good. is hot. Mm. Yum. Okay. Oh man. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So here we have uh, Georgian Chacha. Cha Cha. It's uh, the closest thing that uh, you can compare to in the West is the Italian grappa. So this particular cha cha was made using the saparavi grapes. Yes, that's correct. Saparavi so is tiny, everything. Tiny, tiny flavor of the saparavi. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It punches you first, right in the mouth, but then it wraps you in a blanket a little bit. Oh my God. Like nothing. <laughs> I'm sweating, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I feel like I'm gonna start speaking Russian in here. Right? <laughs> the next dish that we have in the restaurant is the Ooh. traditional Russian pelmenis. This is traditional Russian. We had these a lot on the Russian trip. And you have the yogurt sauce with the dill, and these are stuffed with veal. So let's give these a little try. Mm. <laughs> you know, like this. <laughs> That's a happy thing. Wow. The yogurt, the dill, the veal, those are like little clouds. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Oh, wow. mm. that's the cream nice. and the dill. Yeah. No, no, oh, like the, the veal pasta. at the end, too. The pasta just like melts. Mm. It's so soft. Oh, like oh. the noodle, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with dill, though. You could eat these too fast. You can eat these too you fast. These like too you can fast. get out of control with these. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I just want to put some of these in my pocket and take them on the train with me. Third class cabin, first class cuisine. Oh, oh. Nice. how about that? Wow. Some of these are professional. <laughs> <laughs> this is the classic. Oh Probably one of the most popular or most well-known Russian dishes. I don't even have to say anything about it. This, my friends, is the beef stroganoff. You know it, you've had some type of terrible version of this in your home. I know I did when I was a kid, it was like from a box, yeah. The hamburger helper beef stroganoff. This is far from that. This looks like the cover of the hamburger helper. This is what it's, this is what it's supposed to look like. It never comes out that way, but well, let's try it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. I cheated and had some of this in the kitchen. <laughs> it's so good. It's yeah. so rich, but not too rich. Does that make sense? How rich? <laughs> like, a, like a hockey player rich? Or like a, like a... Like a Formula One racer. Formula One racer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Spanish? Stroganofo. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. The meat is perfect. The cream is great. Wow. The 
So it is a, a lamb shank stewed in the white wine and hence the name of this amazing dish. Oh Chakasuli, literal translation means something like foamy. Tarragon is the main ingredient. Tarragon. Tarragon, white wine and some other herbs. <laughs> Let me explain what happened at this exact moment. <laughs> and tell me if I'm wrong or not. So the moment like you chewed and you swallowed, so it traveled through your throat, it touched your stomach and what your stomach did. I can hear, I can hear, it's applauding. It's roaring. It is surprised. It, it's gonna, it's about to jump out and do this. You hear that, you hear that alarm? That was coming that from was inside was my you, stomach. Yeah. And this is traditional Georgian dish called shashlik. We got pork and lamb here. And before you start eating it, to eat it the right way, we need the Georgian hat. <laughs> What's the name of this hat? Papach. Papach. Wow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh man, crossed on the outside. Cooked right out back, like a little lamb lollipop. Oh yeah, baby. Perfect. It's delicious. Mm. I like the pork a lot. Fabulous. Yeah. Just little balls of joy. Oh, wow, that is really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Woo. I'll drink to that. Go, Mark. Just. All right, let's finish strong. We got one more thing. Dessert. Dessert is up next, and that is Medovic, mm -hmm. which is a Russian cake. Mm -hmm. Russian honey cake to be exact. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Oh my, oh gosh. my god. Look at that. Work That's of huge. art. <laughs> Going bottom left. Going top right. Oh wow, it's so it's soft. I thought it was gonna be like hard bread. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm Oh that honey. Wow. It's so light. I haven't tasted anything so like that. Wow, layers and layers of honey cream goodness. Oh, right. that creaminess of the cream, the crunch of the walnuts, almost like a graham cracker dough, and the sweetness from the pomegranate molasses. So good. That is so unique. That's not like anything I've ever mm -hmm. had. You know, I've never had this in Russia. The honey cake? Yeah. It's one of the most popular desserts. <laughs> I'm sorry, with on the tray. <laughs> this particular one, <laughs> tray is prohibited. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to enjoy our dessert. That is it. An incredible feast here at Pomegranate. If you guys are ever in San Diego, make sure you come see this staff, this incredible food. You guys, thank you very much. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. Oh. We have to my... the whole thing just to make sure we have a good <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do my send off before they brought in the horn, but if you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know what dish you would like to try most. Dimitri, Goraki, he's a man. Spasiva. Spasiva. That's it. You guys got to get here. All right, here we go. Outro done. Now I feel good. Let's keep it rolling. Let Let's get roll. right into the horn. And as a, a Georgian tamadam, I have to say that um, uh, the third and final toast for tonight, I want to make for a friendship. This That's awesome. This particular piece that I'm holding in my hand is uh, the horn of uh, Apex the Georgian apex and the tradition goes that like when you want to make a special toast you grab a horn in this case we have apex horn you oh boy some wine <laughs> <laughs> all right all right we're gonna be best friends after this <laughs> no way hey the things you'll do for friendship you know what i mean this is for friendship. Friendship. How much? Jos. Didn't record that <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Now we're gonna go next stop, Georgia. This is two hours later. I haven't seen the Gorbachevs. The Gorbachevs. Oh. Four seven Anytime you come here and you say travel deeper, you will get a free horseradish vodka shot. Dimitri didn't guarantee this, but I'm guaranteeing this. <laughs> Dimitri, you agree? I agree. That is a promise.